so hello and welcome uh, today in this video I am going to talk about the difference between Jetpack Compose and Flutter now the 2025 year has started and you might be confused between what route you should choose in between Jetpack Compose and Flutter see these are two different frameworks first of all Jetpack Compose is the framework for native Android app development whereas Flutter is for cross app development in Flutter you can build uh, both for iOS and Android with a single code base but in Jetpack Compose you have a code base that works only on Android so Jetpack Compose is the best one for native android app development and flutter for cross app development so if you want to work on a single code base so that your app will run on ios and android devices then you should go with flutter as your cross platform app development so now let me discuss about jetpack compose the best thing about jetpack compose is that it relies on kotlin programming language so if you are that person who is coming from java who knows java then this option will be very great for you because this entire framework is based on kotlin and the main important point about jetpack compose is that it is a declarative ui framework so it relies on the declarative programming paradigm so that means you have to tell what the function does you don't have to say in your code that how it executes certain things you just tell what to do in code and the jetpack compose will do it for you in the past we are used to like imperative programming and uh, that is very uh, code heavy uh, code is not concise as well as you have to write a lot of boilerplate code like that in designing layouts using XML so that thing is gone now you have a declarative UI framework that is Jetpack Compose that you can use for native Android app development and the best thing about Jetpack Compose is that it is powerful as it is the best thing available out there for native Android app development and it is so modern that it enables all the Kotlin programming syntax and every now and then you will see that Kotlin is improving upon itself like uh, Kotlin was not uh, intended to be the Google's official programming language for Android but it did and uh, by the time we reach 2024 we have a beautiful Kotlin programming language that we can use as the modern programming language for our Android apps and in 2025 this is the best programming language that you can use to build your Android applications now coming back to the flutter flutter is based on dart programming language so flutter is actually dart based dart is a programming language it's a statically typed programming language that means uh, if you are coming from java background then dart will be very easy for you so both uh, in the jetpack compose thing and flutter if you go with any of the route let's say you want to build any application then uh, if you are coming from a java background then you will have a thorough understanding of Kotlin as, and as well as Dart there are certain features that are only available in Kotlin there are certain features that are only available in Dart but you will find most of the things related to your expertise in your programming language that is Java so all these programming languages that I am talking about Java Kotlin and Dart these three are all statically typed programming language and the best part about Dart is also that you can use dynamic programming uh, concepts inside Dart and that is the best thing about Dart I, I want to highlight that 
So Flutter uh, has a beautiful thing that I want to discuss is hot reload. Like whenever you are building apps, you don't have to restart your application to test it. You can use hot reload to just uh, re just test your application uh, and that makes your code uh, development easier and uh, you will take less time to code and more time to think about what you should do in the uh, future of your app development and the best part of uh, about flutter is that uh, it is multi-platform that means you can uh, build uh, your applications that will run on uh, ios android uh, windows mac os linux every operating system out there so flutter is the go-to framework that you can use for any cross-platform application but i am sticking with uh, the app for mobile devices and you don't have to consider any other cross-platform app development frameworks like uh, react native or uh, um, .NET Maui uh, you don't have to rely on that you need to go with flutter okay that is my recommendation to you if you are planning to build your application on both the platforms like iOS and Android then you should go with flutter otherwise Jetpack Compose is the best way to build native Android app applications. So now let us talk about what you should choose between the two on the basis of certain comparisons that I will tell you. Now first comparison is about the ease of learning. Now comparing these two frameworks on the basis of ease of learning then I must say that Flutter is quite easy to understand. Whereas Jetpack Compose is kind of uh, difficult when you are building is a flexible, scalable application. Uh, long term wise, I can say that Jetpack Compose is stable because it is uh, suitable for native Android app development. But in case you are starting with the open source framework like Flutter that was made by Google, then uh, Flutter has very simple thing that is uh, widgets that you need to work with widgets widgets are nothing but uh, there are certain elements inside flutter framework that you can use to build your ui so widgets work like uh, composables in jetpack compose in jetpack compose there are composables and in flutter there are widgets the difference between these two can be said like uh, composables are functions that enables you to build your ui and uh, in flutter there are multiple widgets to build certain functionality that let's say you want to add a search button there is a search button class inside flutter if you want to add the bottom app bar or top app bar then it has a, a widget inside flutter similarly inside jetpack compose there are composables so ease of learning i must say that if you are starting with flutter it will be somewhat easier to deal with than jetpack compose talking about performance now obviously the native performance the native android app performance will be best in case of jetpack compose so if you choose jetpack compose for uh, native android app development then it will be the best option out there you don't need to go with uh, kotlin and xml that we used to do in the past but now Jetpack Compose has become the standard and it has become so stable that you can rely on it. And uh, talking about the cross-platform framework like uh, Flutter, uh, it kind of uh, similar to near native performance. It is similar to the native performance by uh, Android, let's say. But uh, Flutter is actually improving on that then let me talk about the development tools and ecosystem now jetpack compose uh, for dealing with native android app development you just need to install the jdk java jdk and then the android studio and that's it you don't have to install any uh, specific things for jetpack compose you only need the java jdk and android studio for your coding Talking about Flutter, you need an IDE like uh, Visual Studio Code 
uh, which is a code editor i am not uh, going to say that vs code is an ide but you can work uh, all the flutter code inside this visual studio code via extensions so you can extend the functionalities of your uh, flutter environment using these extensions and flutter has a beautiful library of uh, packages that is pub.dev from which you can add so many packages inside your flutter project and for jetpack compose it has some uh, implementation libraries and you can do that by adding dependencies adding that libraries in your dependency section of your build.gradle file now coming to the most important part that is if you want to start learning about jetpack compose and flutter then uh, i must say that uh, you should not go with these two at once you should go with only one thing out of these two just decide take your time that what you want to achieve at the end of the day do you want to build applications only for android or you want to build application for both the operating systems like ios and android if you are planning to build application just for android then go with jetpack compose and if you are ios developer just like native android app development there is also native ios app development which uh, uses the swift programming language but i am not talking about that because uh, uh, in most of the countries actually ios uh, developers are very less the main reason behind the availability of less number of developers in uh, ios app development is that uh, it depends on person to person and i think that uh, the money is the first priority that i should uh, be saying that mm, many people cannot afford a, a macbook in case they want to develop applications and even if they have the macbook they need to purchase an iphone also so these two things are a standard to start your native ios app development so i'm not talking about that because uh, obviously the money matters a lot so that's why i'm going to stick with uh, the native android app development that you can use for uh, learning uh, these frameworks you can go with uh, some books and uh, courses but i am going to say that uh if you want uh, any of uh, if you want to be expert in any of these frameworks like jetpack compose or flutter then i am suggesting you start with a very simple project like building a calculator app so try to build your calculator app using your preferred framework like let's say you started to build you want to build your application using the native android app framework like jetpack compose then start building your application using using jetpack compose once you think that this is very good and uh, the uh, programming is very easy then you should stick with it otherwise you should go with flutter for uh, building the same calculator application so try to build a certain project out of these two frameworks just so you can compare between the two that which one is better for you i'm not going to say that go with flutter or go with jetpack compose try it with both these frameworks whatever suits you then choose that and stick with that no matter what you should not change to any other framework in my channel i am going to share further videos about jetpack compose uh, time from time to time i can upload some videos uh, regarding flutter but mostly i will be uploading the content related to jetpack compose okay hope to see you soon thank you